beautiful people, it's Cindy. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and decorate my living room and get it ready for Christmas. And also we're gonna make a yummy dessert at the end of the video. This video is actually in collaboration with my good friend here on YouTube. Her name is Rosanna and she started her YouTube channel as well about a couple months back. So this is her living room that she decorated for Christmas and I absolutely love how she decorates. It's always so simple and neutral and she always includes these yummy delicious desserts and also dinner ideas in her videos. She's truly an amazing person and just such a down to earth and humble person. I hope you guys enjoy her video and go ahead and let her know that I sent you over and I will go ahead and leave her video link down below and a pinned comment as well. I thought we would start today's video by setting up the Christmas tree. So I have this beautiful galvanized tree collar and the tree I'm actually using is only two years old. I purchased it from Walmart. I believe one of the girls from YouTube made a video on it and I just absolutely loved how beautiful and natural it looked. And I'm one of those girls that purchased a flock tree. Then when I tried to put it up the next year, I didn't like it anymore. So I always said, I'm just going to buy this one and this is going to be my forever tree. And I can always go ahead and change like the ornaments, the ribbon. All that stuff I use on a beautiful just green tree so I'm just going in here and fluffing everything out so it can look full gonna go ahead and start with my ornaments these ornaments i actually purchased from goodwill and all i did was add a ribbon that i got from hobby lobby and on some of them i added a velvet ribbon as well that i got from hobby lobby and these are more of a medium ornament i do have small ones that i diy in a video and also large ones that i'm going to incorporate into my tree Before I finish putting on all the ornaments, I remember that I had this beaded garland that I wanted to incorporate into my tree. I did this last year, but I don't know what is it with this year, but I am absolutely in love how everything turned out. And I'm so happy that I incorporated this beaded garland in as well. These are the smaller ornaments that I DIY'd in a video. I also thrifted these ornaments as well and just added some rub and buff to make them a little bit more vintage. These are the larger ornaments that I'm going to incorporate. I DIY'd these as well. They were just plain glass ornaments. And I just went in there with some cream paint, some brown paint, and rub and buff. And also added the ribbon so it to just make it look more customized. I also seen a lot of designers using ribbon into their tree like kind of tying bows so I thought I would go ahead and try it myself. I did purchase this ribbon from Hobby Lobby. It's like a taupey brown color. So all I'm going to do is cut out a strip and to save more money on this ribbon I'm going to go ahead and make a little cut. And once you make that little cut all you're going to do is just rip them apart and it'll make two long pieces. I will be able to make two bowls out of these two long pieces. I also wanted to include a clip of my son putting up some of the ornaments. This was after I finalized everything because I knew if I did this with him, he wouldn't let me record and he would just be grabbing everything. So I did wait till the end to let him put up these two ornaments. 
he was so excited he was clapping and he was saying yay we did it and i'm so happy that i create all these beautiful memories for him All right, now that we finalized the tree, I'm going on to the other side of my fireplace. And I normally have a plant here, but I went ahead and grabbed the ladder from my sitting area and also this like smaller table. I thought I would incorporate a small tree on here. I thought it was just like a cute little touch to add. I actually prefer this get ladder here. So I'm thinking about just keeping it here now going forward. But let me know what you guys think. Moving on to the couch, I'm going to go ahead and place this gray like fuzzy texture blanket on the side of it and also place this big pillow that I purchased from Studio McGee last year. I wasn't sure what colors I wanted to do, but since I had these pillows on hand, I'm like, you know what, I don't feel like spending any more money, so I just went ahead and used these up. Moving on to my coffee table, I'm going to go ahead and place this black base that I DIY'd and it was actually pink from the thrift store and I believe I did it on my last video. You guys seem to really love this black base. So I'm just adding some beautiful greenery from Hobby Lobby and these stems that have like the LED lights in them. They look like tree branches. Um, I got them from the Target dollar spot. It was They were like $3 and I know right now they went viral because they're such an affordable price. So hopefully you guys can get your hands on these because I think it's just like a cute touch to any floral arrangement. And I also thrifted this beautiful Christmas corals book and I DIY'd this candle as well. I think guys sometimes just DIYing it or finding stuff at the thrift store is the best way to go. But then I decided to add a bell as well on top of the book. And I didn't really like how that tree looks, so I'm just going in with two bells now. Now we moved on to my fireplace mantle and guys I'm always so excited to decorate this mantle. If you guys didn't know my husband built this beautiful fireplace for me and I just love decorating it and letting him know how much I appreciate all the hard work he did. So I'm just going in with this garland that I purchased from I believe Michael's last year. Then I'm placing this stocking holder that I DIY'd as well in a thrift flip video I believe and placing this beautiful stocking for my son. And then I'm also going to add this beautiful bell garland that I got from Michaels I believe two years ago and I absolutely love the little touch it gives. 
To finalize everything, I went ahead and added that ribbon as well and created a cute little bow just so I can incorporate that ribbon again. We have officially finished decorating everything and I'm just going to give you an overview of everything I added to my living room. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let me know what was your favorite part or if something you would want to recreate in your own home. And we're also going to get into the baking portion of the video. So I thought I would go ahead and try to make this Nutella Christmas tree that I thought it was so cute. I saw the recipe on Pinterest. So all you're going to need is two puff pastry sheets and a jar of Nutella. So all I did was go ahead and have one piece of pastry sheet on the bottom. And I'm just going to go ahead and smear this Nutella. And then I will go ahead and place that other pastry sheet on top, kind of like a sandwich. And we're going to go ahead and cut out a tree. Once you have your tree cut out, you're going to go ahead and remove those excess pieces. And then on the tree part where the branches would be, you're going to go ahead and make cuts like going from larger to smaller. You guys will see me doing it in a little bit. And once those cuts are made, you're going to go ahead and twist each piece. Alright, with the excess pieces, I'm just going ahead and make a little heart cut out and place it at the top of the tree. You could attempt to do some stars, but I don't have any star cookie cutters, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a heart because I thought that was like the easiest shape to make. Once you have it in your tray, you're going to go ahead and do an egg wash on it. It's just basically one egg and a, like maybe two tablespoons of water and you're going to spread it all over. I did go ahead and bake it at a 400 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and this is how it looks after it came out of the oven. And to finalize it, I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle some powdered sugar on top. This is how the dessert turned out and it's actually really good and yummy. I'm actually considering doing this for friends miss. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching.